first day of play practice of the Glass Menagerie, a day I've been waiting for for months and months and months. I think a lot of people are wondering why should I see another production of the Glass Menagerie? Haven't there been like four in the past like 10 years? I've been in the theater for 35 years. This is one of the most beautifully realized, exquisite productions I've ever had the honor to, to participate in. There's a lot of heart in this production, and there's a lot of uh, humanity in Tennessee's work, and I think in this work in particular, uh, it's something that is accessible to everyone. Well, Tom Wingfield is the m most autobiographical character in Tennessee Williams' whole body of work, so for me, it's, uh, it's a special honor to play him. I play Laura, who is the sister of Tom, who's the narrator, whose interior life is um, much more comfortable than um, her exterior life. She has a physical disability and has for a long time, which also really colors the way that she views herself and how she feels comfortable in the world. And the mother is like any parent now who has a child who is incapable of surviving on their own. And the clock is ticking. And I, Amanda Wingfield, have got to find a way to socialize my child so she can feed herself when I'm gone and or marry her to some good man. I play Jim, the gentleman caller, who is invited by Tom to come over and meet his family one night after work. And um, of course, that dinner turns into it's probably one, one of the, the great scenes in uh, American theater literature. I think that people should come see the show because it's one of those evenings in the theater that has the possibility to, to, to change you.